Two years ago, I was diagnosed with a benign tumour. I went in for the surgery and they found that it was malignant. I had chemo for three months and the chemo had the opposite effect. The only option really was to have an amputation. When you see a campaign and you're seeing like all those fabulous skinny hot models, not super sexualized, but sexualized in a certain way, when disability is constantly left out of those kind of representations, you get this sort of cyclical behavior of desexualization of people with disability. It's actually an opportunity to start breaking down those cycles of discrimination and, and unconscious biases. I dove into a swimming pool that was labelled deep. It was, in fact, shallow. I broke my neck and my pack and instantly became a quadriplegic at the age of 20. Fashion, to me, is a representation of personalities. We are still far behind in the sense of getting the people who actually are living with these disabilities involved in the creation process. Buttonholes, zip holes, tying up laces and things like that are still an issue. Also, being a woman trying to find things that are aesthetically pleasing and make us feel the way we want to feel is still quite an issue. What I love most about fashion is my ability to express myself, my ability to feel free, confident and powerful in my body, the way that I choose to feel and how I represent myself to the world. And my gender, my sexuality, my disability, my race, my background, all of that. And having fashion that's inclusive makes sure that I feel a part of the movement. Trying to squeeze a rubber foot that does not budge into a shoe, you have no idea. There are some shoes where I take the leg off and I'm banging it <laughs> the ground. A lot of people might not think this, but fashion and, and other creative industries like TV and film have the opportunity to start fixing that and to start breaking down that cycle. Christina Stevens is a fashion label that was created for people living with various disabilities. If I'm designing a t-shirt or a dress or some pants or a jacket, what would I like to wear? What's on trend? The first thing is it needs to be fashion forward. It's about dignity, it's about confidence, it's about modesty. Also access, that's just an ongoing issue everywhere and anywhere. And so where we're at now, it is a little bit frustrating, but we are progressing. Having brands that exist now are really important because they're leading the way to show that it is possible and it's not as hard as people think. Our goal at every gym is to work with the big mainstream brand and work with them to design mainstream, accessible, inclusive collections that are inclusive of everyone that people with disabilities can wear as well. Our mission is to try and empower people to independently express themselves through fashion and provide choice uh, where there hasn't necessarily been choice before. When I put on a nice pair of jeans or a nice shirt, I feel amazing, and people with disabilities want to feel that exact same thing. We're here and we need to be seen. We need to feel like we're included because at the end of the day, we're human beings. The end game should be that disability representation, disability inclusion, and inclusive clothing, and just inclusive everything, becomes mainstream. Accessible clothing means it's accessible for all, regardless of your abilities, regardless if you have a disability or not, and regardless of the type of disability you have. If you see this, like don't just watch this and then be like, that was nice. Go and do something about it. I think that really just comes down to representation because who do we have to look up to or um, to relate to? Making someone else's life easier and more enjoyable is a really fabulous thing.